Welcome back to Scandalous Los Angeles TV, where we expose the exposers. Lieutenant Love's Boys has made it back to America, guys, and he's already putting his foot in his mouth. Yesterday, Love's Boys went on Clubhouse and said a whole lot. One of the things he tried to imply was that OG Big Cat is a rat, and he is the reason that Brick Baby's house got raided. Exactly. What about Brick Baby? Well, I was still talking to him over this whole time. Like I say, I went to Baffa dude when the whole hood was on his bumper. Now, it's the difference when the hood is your bumper and then when they take it online and disrespect you being your bumper. That's like next level, right? So when they was doing that last year, I was kind of getting on the scene, speaking up for him because I seen niggas was trying to bully dude. You get what I'm saying? And I'm like, nah, we ain't about to bully cub because I ain't never heard about him being no paperwork. So I stuck up for him. I said, we're going to bully somebody. Let's bully these rats these niggas ain't talking about. Cowboy and Big U, right? And so we was cool. But when he caught that case and Big U caught that case, they got the same lawyer. They became cool. Big U turned that nigga against me. And now he got to reap what he saw. That's how I went. But if you, so you say you see the homies trying to bully him. And oh, that was online talking about nigga, where you from? Nigga, you ain't from the hood. Nigga, what's six so you from? They was on my live. I was on live on Crystal and Slauson with the homies. Somebody brought his name up. They dissing him. That nigga ain't from the hood. Nigga, what's one? Nigga, from where? Nigga, Oregon? Nigga, where that nigga from? Like, talking about him bad. But did he ever Did he ever see it and, and have a chance to respond? Yeah, he seen it. And I seen it. And what was his so response? When, I, when, when we hollered at him, that our response was the pull up. Because I wasn't gonna let no nigga bully no nigga who ain't never told. So I, that's why I put up. So I know you will. I know you. You know what I'm saying? We everybody certified you. What was his response? What was his reaction? Well, his response was he pulled up. That was his response. Okay. Nigga saying he wasn't from there, so he pulled up. So so I don't know if you know the backstory. That's what happened. He pulled up. We leave. We do whatever we do. So when we leave. Rat Cowboy and Rat Big Cat got on lies and Big Cat told Rat La Rat Cowboy on lies, 600 Brick Baby pulled up, 600 hopped out with his blower, Brick Baby got his blower. This was on lies right when we left the parking lot. Did you guys just hear 600 lie on Big Cat right there? He just said Cat said that Brick Baby hopped out with his blower. Big Cat never said that. He only mentioned that Love's Boys was pulling publicity stunts, hopping out with his legal registered blower. No one online had ever heard that Brick hopped out with any blower, and Cat certainly didn't say that. Why is Christopher lying on Big Cat now? Uh, now I gotta say, that was a publicity stunt. 600 publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Can't jump out with his burn. The whole Shabamski. Yeah. <laughs> what this nigga say? I know what I heard. Let, let me rewind this right quick, man. What the hell is this nigga say? Now, like I said, that was a publicity stunt. 600 publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Can't jump out with his burn. <laughs> man, let me play this shit one more time, just in case if y'all think it's a... Y'all might have heard something wrong. I know what I heard. One more time. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> He played it three times in a row, so he can't act like he didn't hear exactly what Cat said. Ask yourself this question. Why is Thugless blatantly lying on Cat like this? Now, them niggas is rats on live saying we pulled up with guns, right? That's what they said. Mm -hmm. The next day, Brick Baby House get raided for the guns. Now I got my I got my gun license. So who knows if they ran my name and seen if I got a legal gun or whatever. They ain't raided my house. So let's get this straight. Brick's house got raided two days after being with Love's Boys. Love's Boys just said Big Cat said Brick had a burner, but you guys just heard for yourself that Cat never said that. So according to Love's Boys, Brick had a burner, and so did he. Brick's house got raided and his did not.
Brick was with Thugless, and Thugless knew Brick had a burner on him. Nobody else anywhere said anything about Brick having a burner, except for Love's boys. After being with you, his house gets raided and yours does not. Now Thugless is lying on Big Cat to shift the blame away from himself. He is the only one that we've heard go online to talk about Brick hopping out with a burner. Big Cat said 600 pulled a publicity stunt. He did not say Brick. Or who was caught on what? They read, that's when Brick Baby went to jail. That's when he got the same lawyer Big you got. And that's probably when they got cool. Who knows? But they been cool. And he turned him against me. When I was the one who pulled up for the nigga and said, nigga, ain't nobody gonna touch cuz, that's the homie. He ain't never been nobody paperwork. Just on some, we ain't about to bully cuz. Let's bully these rats. That's what I was on. Mm -hmm. Turn him against me, bro. Clubhouse TV. For no reason. I went against him. I went against the whole hood for him, bro. You know how many niggas called me? Hey, man, why you sticking up for cuz? Nigga, when you ever crip with that nigga, bro? What block you hung over that nigga on, man? Why you speaking up for that nigga? Niggas done called me and told me that, bro. Gang of homies. So, so this is what's going on, right? You got a nigga who took the stand already. You know what I'm saying? This is why I don't even fuck with niggas, bro. You got a nigga who took the stand, right? Now, I can't really blame the other nigga he talking to because I don't know if he know he's being recorded on live. When this event took place, Love's Boys wasn't calling Cat a rat. You just heard him say he can't really blame him because he might not have known he was being recorded. But today he says he's a rat after placing statements in his mouth that Cat never said. But they together. He got his phone in his hand. He probably know. He probably don't. Who knows? So I can't really blame him for telling what he's seen to a homie. But you talking to a nigga who took the stand. What the fuck you expect him to do? You know what I'm saying? So this is the type of shit we dealing with. You know what I'm saying? You got a nigga who took the stand before, pulling up, getting niggas to say what happened. Well, I mean, what you trying to do, uh, cowboy? You, you trying to get in there come raid a nigga house? So, I, so now, now I see what's going on. These niggas is record niggas on live. Talking about niggas hopped out with blowers. They probably ran my name and seen I'm legit. Okay, we can't fuck with him. And they probably ran somebody else's name and seen they ain't got a firearm permit. And that's probably West probably that's probably how I got got the got the homie locked up, huh? See how he's fumbling over his words? Brick was around you with his weapon, and two days later his home was raided. Now we see why Big U went live saying this. The shop got raided. Cause uh he right here with me. No, no, I don't really entertain that clown, but